Hello, and thank you for joining us for today's story. Today we are going to be reading a story called Tad, which is all about <clears throat> a tadpole. And I wonder if you know what creature a tadpole grows up into. Tad. So there's Tad. Can you see? I wonder if you can guess what she is. Tad was a frog. Well, that's not quite true. Tad was almost a frog. Can you see? Tad was small. Smaller than her Tad brothers and smaller than her Tad sisters. She was so small that she had to wiggle her tail twice as fast as any of the others just to keep up. Keep up, they would say, or Big Blub will get you. <clears throat> Tad had never seen Big Blub. Big Blub, they said, was a great, big, nasty fish. Big Blub swam in the deep, dark, murky part of the pond. He was as old as the mud, they said. He would wait until the sun went in, until all the pond was grey, and then he would glide out from the dark patches and... Gulp! No, no, Tad did not want to know. She decided not to believe in Big Blub. And when the sun went in, she carefully hid behind the rocks and the plants. Can you see her? I wonder. She hid behind the rocks and the plants in the hope that Big Blub would not find her. Day by day, the tadpoles grew. They grew back legs and then front legs. Their legs grew longer and their legs grew stronger, stretching their forelegs as wide as they could. They felt like they wanted to climb out of the pond. They rushed into the shallow waters quicker than you or I can blink. Their tails got smaller and smaller until they no longer had tails at all. We've lost our tails! We've lost our tails! They cheered. All except for Tad. Every night they would find a big leaf and curl up together. But as the nights passed, Tad noticed fewer and fewer tadpoles to curl up with. Each night, Tad counted her Tad brothers and Tad sisters. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three. Where had they all gone? She didn't like to think. Tad played in the shallows with her last Tad brother and her last Tad sister. You can't catch us, Big Blub! Her last, ta her last Tad sister called out into the shadows. But soon there were just two. It seems there are much fewer of us than before. Don't you think? said Tad to her last Tad brother. And then there was only one. 
but she was strong and she was clever and she knew all the best hiding places. Can you see her now? Big Blub would never catch her. Oh no! Big Blub! Tad swam faster than she had ever swum before. <gasps> then Tad did something she had never done before. She swam up and up and up and up. Big Blub sank back to the bottom of the pond where he belonged amongst the mud and the ooze, deep, dark and murky. Tad climbed up on a rock, her big round eyes blinking at the bright sky. It felt good to be out of the water. I've lost my tail! I've lost my tail, she sang. Tad was a frog. She had a funny feeling and a twist in her belly, spreading out to the ends of her toes. She coiled up tight like a spring. Ooh, one too many pages. And jumped. And can you see all of her Tad brothers and Tad sisters have now turned into frogs? <clears throat> and they all curled up together in a leaf and slept. The end! Thank you very much. Um, if you're interested, you can join our mailing list, um, which is there's a link on Facebook on the left hand side, if, because obviously in the future we'll be running more events. Um, so yeah, if you want to stay up to date, you can go on there. Let me know. We're going to be doing some cooking. We're going to be doing some more crafty activities. I know a few of you have given me a few ideas. That's great. Anyone else that's keen, send me a link, send me a message. Um, yeah. Great, thank you for joining. We will see you next time for another story. Bye bye.